if I make up the question so you can see what the answer is before you do the question? Ready? <laughs> Why is it that as a teacher when you say, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make up the questions that people start to think all sorts of weird things. I'm going to make up the questions, I'm going to get you to watch me make up the questions and then I'm going to teach you how to get the answers, which I already showed you. And kids in junior school go, but what's the point of doing this for in naming answer? Because you're learning me. Technique. So here, if I said, he ain't expand, maybe you should all do it. Expand. So expand it out. Ash. Do you understand if I just point to them while I'm me, yeah. right? Yeah, 2x squared, uh, 6x, and 8. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yep. Uh, and then 3. I presume a lot of people know how to do that. And there were no negatives. I didn't go stupid. I've just gone on these. Ash. Oh, sorry. Uh, four, uh, 3x squared, 6x, 4x. No, oh, sorry, 2x. Slow so down. Don't stop panicking. 8x. Yep. And then 4. Yep. So, eight. they're not watching. What are they ending? They ended. Five x squared. So you understand what I'm doing? Yeah. You are so gumpy, I'm a stupid, with a stupid look on my face and go. 5x <laughs> squared, um, 2x, 5x, 20x. And what we're actually doing is multiplication every week. Yeah. So you're okay, 22x. And 8. Last one. 4x okay squared. You okay with what we're doing? 4x squared? 4x squared. Plus. Plus x plus 1. Now, if you look at this later and you see what I'm doing, you look about what happens, you'll see why I put a 4 there. That 4 makes it a little bit more complicated than 2, 3, or 5. 2 and 3 and 5 are primes. They can't break up into anything other than 1 in themselves. But this one could break up into a 1 and a 4 or a ray. As it was in this case, it wasn't a 2 and a 2. Well, I could rewrite that. I could say, what if I decide to do this deal? 2x and 2x, and did the question again. So what would I do then? 4x squared. Plus? Plus 2x plus 2x plus 1. Plus 4x plus 1. So maybe I should even do this theory. Because <laughs> otherwise you have the same thing twice, and they don't yeah. want it to be the same thing twice. 4x squared plus? 6x plus 2x plus 1. And everything's just positive. So now I come along and I say the word factorise. What's that mean? To make it into those. Yes. Yeah. Now it's not really about making into those, yeah. but it is making into those because yeah. that's what it turns out to be most of the time. It's actually putting in a yeah. multiplication. This thing in here, if I said factorise, oh, 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 and try to pick something wrong. Well, now I need two sets of brackets. What did you learn last year again as a method of doing that? And did you learn it and were you brainwashed on it? Oh my goodness, so you had a different two to then. <laughs> Could you do guess and check? Yes, because everything's positive for starters. So it could be a three. By the way, or could have been what else? It could have been a plus with a three and a plus with a one. So how can we get next squared? Got to be an x and an x. Is there any other possibility for three? You can get a one with a three, all right? Three with a one. So how can I get a two? Two and a one. Well, does that mean I make this a one and a two? If I make that a one and a two, what have I done? It's just the same as the other one. The same as the other. So I'm leaving this one the same here. Now, are some of you looking at me and going, yeah, 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 I did all this. I could have done this without you reminding me. So that has to be all of that or that. So there's a guess and check. You can just go that by that, that by that. So there's six X. So we're repeating what we did before. There's one X and that's that one. That's the wrong one. So what do I teach you instead of that? Did you see this last year? Instead of writing all the possibilities out, I write the X and the X with a cross. Yeah, okay? Has to have a two, so I wrote a two. Three can be one and three all. Three and one. Here's the shortcut. 2x times 3 is 6x. x times 1 is 1x. That's why they put that cross. And that's 7x. Did we want a 7x? 
So that's the correct answer. Later on, after two centuries for years, I, I started putting the bracket there and the bracket there. Yeah? So that method, method works, method. That method works for your brain. Okay. Cross multiplication. 3x squared plus 8x plus 4, and it says put the brackets in, which is what you interpret it as, which is correct. So, I don't bother doing all that stuff. I just put a 3x and an x. I put a 1 and a 4, a 4 and a 1, and a 2 and 2. Could be 1 times 4, could be 4 times 1, could be 2 times 4, 2 times 2. Amazing how often people don't start at 1. <laughs> I see people mess it up. They sit there and go, there's no answer, and they go, did you start at one? <laughs> so what's the answer? Look, we can go this quick. You know how I was going that and that? So I'd go 6x and 2x is 8x. 12x and 1x is 13x. 3x and 4x is 7x. 6x and 2x is 8x, which is the correct one. So it's got a niceness to it. So there's the correct one. So the bracket will go there, and the bracket will go there. Everything's positive, 3x plus 2, x plus 2. Questions done? And so you can get a 1 and an 8, an 8 and a 1, a 2 and a 4, and a 4 and 2. So there's possibility stuff done for your brain. If you're lucky that in Western Australia, we don't go too crazy on it. What makes it worse? We have negatives. I'm going to bother to write it. My teacher used to put a line there. That was 40x, and that's 1x, 41x, not 5x, 8x is, 13x, not. Next one, the right one, isn't it? 20x plus 2x, 22x, yay, that's the correct one, so the bracket goes there, and the bracket goes there. 5x plus 8, 5x plus 2, and x plus 4. Doesn't matter, I wrote it the opposite way that I wrote it before. Now we've got a 4x and x. How can we get a 3? Too obvious. 1, 3, 3, 1. 4 is another possibility. 2x and 2x. 1 and 3, 3, 1. By the way, if you're doing it all the time in life, you could have written up here. Write them both beside each other. Don't ever do this. That's what this brain thing. That's 12x and 1x is 13x. See how quick I can do it? Okay, you did that puzzle. 12x and 1x, 13. 4x and 3x is 7. 6x and 2x is 8. There it is. That's 6x and 2x. There's your 8x. So what do I write for the first bracket? 2x plus 8. Yeah. And? 2x plus 3. Yeah. Done.